Hello everyone, welcome to the Dastardly Gentleman, OG Ryan here, and today we're back with more One Shot. We figured out this <laughs> lens machine. It took quite a few tries, but we finally figured out, and I flipped the switch, and the lenses went into the machine, and now there's some sort of light protruding out the back here. Uh, cheese? Ouch, my eyes. All right. It's a giant camera, apparently. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? Cool. Photo of Nico, not a cat. All right. That's gonna fix the camera. Ah, oh, sweet. Cool. Show me the photo. Do anything? Nope. Okay. So, I guess now, let's head back to that light puzzle thing. Try to figure that out. Alright. So. Oh, God. Okay, um... Four lights are correct. Five lights are correct. Oh, well, hey, there we go! That was easy enough. Access granted. Holy shit, easiest puzzle ever. The security system has been temporarily deactivated. Would you like to reset it? I don't think I want to go through that again. Alright then. Dude, I'm sure it's not as bad as it seems. You need to calm the fuck down. My robot! What happened? I don't know. I left for a minute and... What am I gonna do? Your robot's fucked, man. I hate to break it to you. I cannot stop spinning... These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs or head. Okay. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. You now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? What does that have to do with anything? Never mind. This one is inactive. What about you, Boop? We are waiting to be repaired. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Probably steals it. Or lots of coffee. It's a bookshelf. It's a shelf full of little machine parts and tools I don't recognize. Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week, and... She fell asleep. A warm pot of coffee. It's almost empty. You kill the Joe, you make some mo. Hello? Oh, shoot. If I'd known you'd be here so soon, I would have turned off the system. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Best company solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah, where's the library? The library? That's all the way on the other side of town. The fastest route is where you take the shortcut through the back alley, but... I think that's how we got here, actually. Oh, good. 
You should head back that direction and walk to the east a bit. You'll find it eventually. Thank you. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you really get do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. Ha, huh, I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh, uh, you know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right, I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Ah, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now, yeah? Something is poking out from this shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. So we have glitter glue. Cool. Put it on the photo. <laughs> okay, that was actually what we were supposed to do. The back of the photo is covered in glue and glitter. So we now have a sticky photo of Nico. It's a bookshelf. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliche, but true. Alright, so for some reason we now have a sticky photo. Hey, Vask, doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Fine. Oh? That's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know. I even based her on... I even based her on myself, so, I know, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh. It turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Cool. So what did that do for us? Apparently just story elements. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. Picking up some more dis disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. Monitoring, monitoring. 
I'm sure a lot of computers here. And they look important too. Ugh, the square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. You might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Alright, so the library that we're looking for... Back through the alley and to the east. So let's go find ourselves a library. Here's the alley. Let's head east. Robots and squares. It's up here. This was the tree. This is the crazy cat robot? No. Crazy cat robots. Yeah, down here. Ram Club. And that's the end of the alley, so what the hell? What's in here? Oh, hi. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. It's a big fish tank. So the squares are taking out pipelines now. That's not good. What do we have over here? Library? Maybe? Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks! Cool, we found our library. What's up with you? When the world ends, would it be better if, I, if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Alright. Into the library. What's up? What? I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in a library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. Wow, fine, bitch. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. Seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say the city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. Alright. Robots. Yep, still scared of ladders. Hello, person. Hey! Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Some sort of plaque. Okay. What up? The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. Excuse me. Oh, you are the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her.
She is not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls. For several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person, then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then, can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha. Thanks. Book club. Let's go check out the book club. What a book club. What are these clover books? A comprehensive guide to the phosphors. Oh, God. Am I going to have to read this and actually remember any of it? No, thank you. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big compendiums. You'll, you'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travelogues and novels, mostly. So what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, Emergence of the New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Phosphor shrimp, common fireflies. Cool. The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just sat in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat! Okay. What do we got over here? Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Uh, how come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. Nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh... I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person and cats are pets. And mousers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Huh, <laughs> then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Alright. To the archives, maybe. What's, what's up with you? I'm on my third cup. Hey, it's me. I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. Yeah, I know, I know several people like that. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh, God, not again. She is not picking up. Yeah, no shit. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? 
Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. What? Even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. <sighs> okay, so how do we get a fucking library card? Tell you what, we'll find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate your support, and we will see you in the next episode. Peace.